Hey there gang, Kawaii50 here with another video for you, a Honkai Star Rail fan actively wanting to go to bat for Genshin Impact fans because I, I want them to get better things and enjoy their game. Uh, if you don't know what's going on with Genshin Impact, I'm going to explain in this video, show you some comparisons, and uh, hopefully, hopefully adding another voice to the cacophony leads to the Genshin team, you know, doing something for the Genshin fans because highest grossing gacha game of the entire year last year definitely should be doing more for those that play it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and just hop into it with what's going on right now. So what is going on right now? Well, Genshin fans are mad. They are mad because recently they ended up having a uh, stream for the Chinese New Year where they announced that the gift that everyone was receiving were three good old intertwined fates if you don't play genshin intertwined fates are used for limited banner uh for star rail fans these are like star rail limited passes uh for basically uh, the other gotcha game out there fgo fans this is the equivalent of paid saying quartz for a paid banner yada 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 it's it's the primo stuff but it's still only three and this has been seen as stingy by a lot of Genshin fans out there, especially considering if you watched my previous video talking about what gacha games ended up making last year, Genshin alone made half a billion dollars. That's billion with a B. So I think a lot of people who end up, you know, following games, seeing how well Genshin is performing, uh, they expected a little bit more. And the backlash has been uh it's it's been up there to say the least on the equivalent of china's tiktok douyin uh genshin ended up losing more than a million followers over there which kind of ends up just hurting their optics a bit and even on top of that people are going and specifically unfollowing accounts for brands that actually do active collaborations with Genshin, like KFC. So they are even going and trying to extend their outrage to the side. Uh, of course, a lot of comparisons are being brought between Genshin as well as Honkai Star Rail, considering Star Rail is not only the brand new game by the same developer Hoyoverse, but on top of that, it was the number two highest grossing gacha game of last year. And in order to thank us for, you know, it making all that money, for it winning best mobile game at the game awards, things like that, they gave everyone a five star character for free. And uh, the general consensus on the comparison between these two, well, I will let this video that I did not make, I'll give credit down in the comment section below, I'll let this video speak for itself. So yeah, I think um I think you can understand what the consensus is there. Now there was another post uh, put up by Yotsuba Navia over on Twitter that ends up going into this a little bit more detail. I'll go ahead and chuck some stuff in here regarding this Doyen stuff. So in addition to the three intertwined fates, uh, one, there's a significant overlap between the player bases of Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. Star Rail gives out generous version rewards, often including the five-star character Dr. Ratio, which makes Genshin Impact seem less generous by comparison. There were also a lot of rumors going around about a free four star skin selector. So a lot of people were hyped that they'd be able to get their four star characters a brand new set of clothes in order to wear. It turns out that this was later tied to a PlayStation 5. You have to purchase a whole PlayStation 5 to get this four star skin selector. Uh, a lot of people don't want to buy a PS5 just to play Genshin Impact, so that ended up really impacting people. And on top of that was a reward for player return that's out. The reward for a player return is 500 Primo Gems, but the so-called Year of Companionship bonus only offers 480, which is leading to a lot of players feeling like the developers don't value their long-term players. They are far more interested in pulling back people that ended up leaving, trying to 
entice them to come back into the game more than actually worrying about retaining all of those players. And I mean, from what I've seen, if you want to draw comparisons, Genshin usually has about uh, 60 million active players from what I've been seeing on sites. That's the average I've seen a bunch across a bunch of other places. Honkai is currently sitting around 20 million. That's Honkai Star Rail, that is. So even though people have been talking about Honkai potentially losing some players, 20 million is still huge for a gacha game. So I really don't feel like Hoyo in general is in any sort of rush to try to worry about that retention. Keeping over a 20 million install base for your game six months after launch for a free game at that is pretty god dang impressive. Now, I'm sure some people are wondering, well, it's just it's a three year New Year's anniversary award. You know, they're just they're given something out. How can we even possibly draw a comparison? Uh, let's draw the comparison between a gotcha game I talk about quite a bit and one that a lot of people see as stingy fake grand order for fake grand orders third New Year's campaign that they did. They ended up giving out 18 in-game currency three summon tickets, and they also offered a lucky bag summoning campaign. This was only paid, but if you summoned on this banner, you were guaranteed a five-star character no matter what. To my knowledge, I don't think Genshin has done any sort of guaranteed five star even up to this time please correct me if i'm wrong but i've been trying to at least follow genshin because of how big it is even though i don't necessarily play it anymore and i haven't been seeing anything about a guaranteed five star character look i get it i see i see a lot of people talking about the fact that you know genshin you know it's it's free uh, anyone posts anything bad about it on the Reddit, they tend to get downvoted or banned to oblivion from the official Genshin subreddit. Uh, people don't want even any sort of valid, lighthearted criticism on the game. They only want positivity. And I'm all a fan of positivity. Don't get me wrong. I really think that just being negative all the time is really bad for people's mental health in general we should be able to relish some good things that come out but not even like lobbying any legitimate criticism towards your game in terms of rewards being able to look at other titles even other titles made by the same company and seeing that those other titles are being more generous to their players in the game it's not taken as long of a time to get quality of life updates. Honkai Star Rail is a prime example of this getting quality of life updates super duper fast in comparison to Genshin. It just, it kind of feels icky if you're a player. It kind of feels icky. It kind of feels like the company doesn't value you as a player. The devs don't value you as a player, even though it is the fact that you are playing that has made the game as successful as it is in the first place. So overall, that's what's going on. I really hope this does something. I'm 50-50 I'm optimistic on it because I remember there was a lot of outrage for the first year anniversary rewards back when I played it pretty religiously. And now we're on to the third year and people are still getting very, very upset about rewards. So I don't know if anything is actually going to change. But Genshin, at the end of the day, is the most profitable gacha game in the entire world. And I really feel like if it's riding on so much success, it should end up showing its players equal amounts of appreciation in relative connectivity i guess to the success you should make your players feel like they are the most valuable players in the entire world if they have ended up making your game feel like the most valuable game in the entire world that's really all i got for you gang uh let me know your thoughts on all of this genshin drama down in the comment section below uh, let me know if you prefer Genshin or Honkai Star Rail. I'm personally a Star Rail fan. Super stoked to see what else is going to be coming out for Pinakani. And you can probably expect to see some more Honkai videos on the channel. But this, I've seen this thing blowing up everywhere. It felt incorrect to not at least attempt to say something about all of this Genshin drama going on right now. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii50. Genshin fans, I wish you the absolute best and hope your game's rewards improve. I'll see you all in the next one.